Israel will launch the 6.5-ton Bluebird 6 communication satellite of US-based ASD Space Mobile on 15 December aboard the heavy lift LVM-3 rocket. United States Representative Sidney Dove has issued a pointed warning regarding the deteriorating state of India-US relations. Successive presidential administrations of both political parties have devoted years of painstaking work to build trust and deepen cooperation between our two countries. And then what happened? Flush, flush, flush down the toilet, the capital that Americans have built over decades in service of Trump's personal grievances and at the expense of our national interests. And unless he changes course, Trump will be the American president that lost India or more accurately, that chased India away. India's RRP defense has entered into a strategic collaboration with Israel-based Meprolite for the local assembly of advanced electro-optics and weapon sites in India. India, France and the United Arab Emirates have begun a trilateral air combat exercise over the Arabian Sea, aimed at enhancing military interoperability and strengthening security cooperation. Bangladesh Air Force is partnering with China to establish a UAV manufacturing plant under a technology transfer agreement, with construction expected to be completed by end of this month. Pakistan is in advanced talks with Turkey to establish a drone assembly plant, likely involving Turkish firm Baker Technologies, and the facility would assemble Bayraktar drones locally for Pakistan Air Force and Army. The Indian Army has begun deploying the Cheetah M200 intervention sniper rifle with elite units along the line of control, which is among the world's most capable extreme long-range sniper systems exceeding 3,000 meters. All 28 Indian Navy and Indian Coast Guard's Druf helicopters are expected to return to service in about six months, after undergoing manufacturing upgrades to the non-rotating swashplate bearing following recommendations from the Defect Investigation Committee. The Indian Army is training its crews to detect and engage low-flying low-observable cruise missiles using modern infrared-guided manpads, as these systems are found to be highly effective when paired with portable battlefield radar systems. The DRDO has invited Indian private industry to co-develop quantum-based avionics sensors and core technologies for sixth-generation fighters. To accelerate progress, DRDO is opening the program through Technology Development Fund Scheme and IDEX, targeting companies working on silicon photonics technology, diamond NV center materials, and cold atom interferometry. Engineers are tuning the signal processing and waveforms of the Virupaksa radar to improve detection of stealth aircraft even in clean configurations. The radar will be able to detect stealth fighters from 250 kilometers, early enough to allow the Su-30 to launch long-range missiles from safe standoff distances. Russia has offered the Jiran-3 turbojet-powered long-range loitering munition to India, that has entered serial production in Russia, and is capable of entering service within 24 months into the Indian Armed Forces. Weighing around 1,000 kilograms, the Jiran-3 can fly at 600 km per hour, carries a massive 300 kg warhead, with a strike range of 2,500 km for high-value deep strike missions against battlefield assets and strategic targets. Russia has offered full transfer of technology and co-development, making it an attractive proposition for India's services facing immediate capability gaps, as Indian loitering munitions currently under development have a range of about 1,000 km. The Indian Air Force intends to induct 12 tankers, that include 6 converted Boeing 767 tankers, and 6 new build tankers selected through competition. Airbus is preparing to re-enter the Indian Air Force's upcoming RFI for six new tankers with its A330 platform, but faces stiff competition from Boeing's KC-46A Pegasus based on Boeing 767, and the HAL Israel Aerospace Industries plan to convert Boeing 767 into tankers. With both Boeing and HAL options based on the Boeing 767, fleet commonality and lower life cycle costs could tilt the competition against Airbus A330, unless it offers aggressive pricing and a strong industrial package. Today's Top 3 Comments